Hello everybody, uh, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. I apologize for that, I've been really busy at work and a lot of personal stuff going on and stuff, so I just really haven't had time to to sit down and, uh, you know, take the time to do the videos. Um, and on top of that, uh, my last project I had, my 93 Vulcan 1500, or Vulcan 88, um, I started doing videos on that and then, um, I had a buyer offer to buy it off me, so I had to kind of hurry up and do it, so I didn't have time to, to do the videos. So, I apologize for that. Um, I sold my Suzuki uh, Intruder 1400. Um, I wound up buying a 1500 Intruder, the C90, a 96, or sorry, an 86, 86, a 2006. Um, but it's not the best of bikes in the world. Um, well, it is. It's, it's it's a good bike, it's just not for me, it's not my style of bike. So anyway, um reason I'm back today is I'm here today to introduce you to my new project. It is a 2004 Kawasaki Vulcan 1500. Um, it came to me uh, with a bad um, front bevel bearing, or front bevel gear bearing. So I'll be working on that and I'll be doing videos on that. Um, so what I'm going to do with that is I'm gonna do I'm gonna release the videos as I do them instead of doing like a video a week because I'm sure if there's somebody out there who's got this problem they don't want to wait all summer to learn how to do it so um, so I'm gonna start doing that right away it is uh, currently April 11th I think 2018 so <laughs> hopefully I'll get it done before the summer um, where we are it's still well, they call it spring, but it's still winter out there. It's still snowing every day, annoyingly. Uh, not sticking to the ground, but it's still too cold to ride. Um, you can ride, like, short distance, but... So, I'm hoping to have this done before the end of April. That's the plan, as long as I can get parts and everything. Um, so let me introduce you to the bike. So here it is here. It is, uh, like I say, a 2004 Vulcan 1500 Classic. Um, there's not a lot of videos out there on the front bevel gear bearing, so I'm going to do this so that there is one. There's a lot that explain where the bearing is, or there's some with the video already done with the part, bikes apart. I'm going to do it bit by bit, taking it apart, so you know how to do that. So anyway, um, so this bike has got the, a lot of accessories on it. It's got hard bags on it, for those of you who like hard bags. It's kind of nice. Batwing fairing, uh, hypercharger, Vance and Hines long shots with two sets of baffles, the quieter baffles which are still loud, and the less quieter baffles which are louder, and then there's the option obviously of running straight pipe. Uh, comes with the light bar, uh, highway pegs, air horn, um, what else does this thing have? Floorboards for the passenger luggage rack. Uh, it's missing the pad for the back, but not a huge deal. Um, extra helmet lock over there. Uh, just a couple of little bolts on parts too, but uh, it's a really nice bike. Really loud. It comes with a kind of a cruise control thingy there. Um, <coughs> just a little lever when you turn the throttle on, like when you give it gas, right? And then you just slide that down so it rests on your lever. And that holds your throttle, and then you just do that, turn it off. But uh, pretty simple, yeah. But anyway, so let's do a quick uh, fire up here. Um, so it's been hasn't run today; it's cold. So I'll pull the choke out, and then as soon as I fire it up, I'm gonna go open the doors. I'm gonna put you down right here for now, um, just so I can. Do this with no hands or without the camera. So, choke is out. Uh, I guess you gotta turn the key on first.
Less the advance and hind long shots with the quieter baffle. Quiet one, you can't really hear it at all. Anyway, so that's her. So, anyway, like I say, when I get started, I will start doing videos and releasing them pretty much after I'm done. Uh, might be within a day or two, but uh, I'll do the best I can to get about as quick as I can. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope the future videos are helpful to you. And uh, I will talk to you all later.